I've tested more than 100 AI tools, and these are the ones that will actually help you get rich. I've been working with AI for the past eight years and built my company, School of Bots, into a $10 million business that's generated over $90 million for our clients. Today, I'm showing you the five AI tools the top 1% are using to work less, earn more, and stay ahead of the competition. Tool number one is saving me thousands of dollars every single month just by giving me AI answers that I can finally trust. Imagine this, a lead just booked a sales call with me. I'm not sure what their position is in the company. So I ask, what is John Schmidt's position in the company XYZ Consulting? And tell me when he started at the company, what his achievements have been, who he typically works with. Two minutes later, I have everything that I need. And I show up to that call way more prepared than they would expect instant credibility. I have tested this on all the consumer facing top AI platforms like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. Perplexity is the best. And what I love about it is that it provides me with accurate links and sources so I can click on a link and it actually works. Whereas with ChatGPT, 50% of the time or more, I find the link is broken or it's just wrong. So even if I tell it, double check the links before you send them to me and run other quality checks before sending, it still doesn't work the way I want it to. AI tools are great, but if they're just giving you a bunch of information that you then have to double check. And as you're double checking, you realize some of it's wrong or outdated. That's a huge deal. Another practical example is let's say you're going to dinner with somebody tonight and you want to impress that person. If this person is a business owner, you can ask, tell me what exact services and products this person's company sells. Tell me what their overall social media following is broken down by profile. Tell me how big their team is. Tell me how much revenue they seem to be making every single year. Tell me their husband and their kids' names. And if they recently shared any personal updates on social media in the last seven days. That way you will know exactly how to lead the conversation and create a connection that can lead to sales, a business partnership, or just an epic friendship. Tool number two is Whisperflow. Think about how much you type in a single day. Responding to messages, updating project management software, replying to emails, writing in Google Docs, etc. If you're spending even just three to four hours a day typing, that's time that you could get back. So Whisperflow is a voice to text AI that cuts that time dramatically. Here's how it works. I hit one key on my keyboard, which is connected to the Whisperflow app on my computer, and I speak. Text appears instantly wherever my cursor is. I find it's extremely fast and extremely accurate compared to my MacBook and my iPhone's voice mode. So I just hit a key, speak my question or message, and it's done. And you can do it with one sentence or paragraphs. And I use this all day, every day, and a lot of people on my team love it too. I send almost all my Slack messages, write in Notion and Google Docs, Gmail, text messages, typing to AI to ask it questions, etc., all using Whisperflow. The third tool is one you already have, but the top 1% use it in a way you've probably never even thought of. I'm talking about ChatGPT. And first, I'm gonna give you a very specific example, but I promise it'll make a lot of sense by the end. On social media, have you noticed how influencers ask you to comment a word to get a link or a resource? Well, the reason why is because it triggers an automated message to send to you. From there, businesses can automate an entire back and forth conversation to turn commenters into customers quickly. In my business at School of Bots, we build these systems for clients and we have to decide what word to use for every single post. Well, the problem is we can't reuse words. So my team used to spend 10 minutes or more deciding deciding what the perfect word would be. And now we have a custom GPT that can do it all in just 30 seconds. So we answer four questions about the thing we want to promote in the post, and it gives us the perfect word. And honestly, I use custom GPTs now for everything to create specific outcomes and to help make specific decisions that come up regularly in our business, but personal stuff too. I have one that knows my body measurements, hair color, eye color, skin color, and it tells me what to wear for events. Another one for wellness that knows all the supplements supplements that I take and when it's my time of the month. It's like having a personal advisory board for every single area of your life and business. Now, here's how you can create these types of systems for yourself. I have two custom GPTs that build everything that I need. And real quick, if you're not familiar with what a custom GPT is, you can think about it as a way to use the same prompt over and over again for repetitive projects. So first, I have my custom GPT creator. This creates instructions for any custom GPT in just 60 seconds. I tell it, I want a custom GPT that is my 
head of marketing. And then it gives me complete instructions, which I can then paste into the instructions box of a custom GPT. And this solves the biggest friction. I know what I want, but how do I actually set this up without spending hours of time? To create your own custom GPT, just make sure you're logged into ChatGPT and then go to chatgpt.com forward slash GPTs forward slash editor, and you'll be able to create one on that page. Now, my second custom GPT is my prompt generator, which is for one-off prompts that are for bigger projects than just a quick question. But the key is that in my instructions, I'm very, very specific. Instead of saying, you're the head of marketing for my company, School of Bots, I say, you are a world-class marketer who has 10 years of experience, an IQ of 180, and you've personally managed marketing for information businesses that make 100 million to a billion dollars a year in annual revenue. That level of detail is going to give you far better outputs. But here's a caveat. If your business is making, let's say, $500,000 a year, you might not want to be using strategies yet from a $100 million company because you may not have the same resources, infrastructure, etc. So just be sure that you're plugging in the right details for your specific situation. Tool number four helps me write words that I used to overthink for hours. Let's say you need to send a message to a team member or a client about a sensitive situation. Maybe somebody dropped the ball, maybe you need to set a certain boundary, and you're sitting there thinking, how the hell do I say this? I want to be kind, but I also need to hold my ground. I cannot leave room for misinterpretation. You rewrite the message three times, and you still don't feel good about it. So this is where Claude comes in. I paste that situation into Claude, I tell it exactly what I'm trying to accomplish without sugarcoating it, and it handles that perfectly. It puts out a message that is kind, but firm, clear, but not harsh, professional without being cold. But Claude isn't just for writing better messages. I also use it as my company's copywriter. It drafts our emails, social captions, and even funnel copy in my exact tone of voice because it already knows our brand inside out. Here's the thing though. You can just talk to it in a regular chat for sure, but there is a better way. Especially if you're a business owner, you need to spend two hours uploading proper information and creating what is called a context block for your company and yourself. So here's how I like to do it. First, I take the human design quiz and the disc assessment online. Side note, the reason why I like those is because I have tested all the personality assessments out there and plugged them into AI. These two have given me the best results for the use case I'm talking about. Now, I take the PDF results that I get back from those quizzes and I upload them into a new chat with Claude. And I say, write me a context block that gives people an understanding of how I want to communicate, how I want to be communicated to, what I value, and how I make decisions. Then stay in Claude, create a new project for one area of your business. Let's say it's marketing. Add your context block as a text file in the project files. Next, gather any documents you have about your company's brand voice, emails you've received recently sent maybe, social media captions, your sales page copy, etc., and download them as PDFs. Then go back to the Claude project and upload them as project files. And with that, you now have a project that understands not only your company, but also your communication style. So you're going to get results that feel aligned while also enjoying the process and not wanting to bash your head against your laptop. Tool number five is the foundation of the system that runs parts of my business for me and makes me money on autopilot. I know this may sound too good to be true, but no one on my team ever has to write an email sequence from scratch ever again. We have an AI that gets triggered by just clicking a button in our project management software. Someone clicks it and the AI does deep market research on a client's avatar. Then it analyzes the offer we're trying to sell and it writes a five email sequence based on our best performing frameworks. But here's the key. We're not saying just write some random email sequence. This AI is an expert in writing 10 specific types of email sequences. We don't give it requests outside of that. Just like I usually wouldn't go tell a team member, hey, do this random thing you've never done before, and I'm not going to give you any information about how I want it done. They're going to figure it out, but it might not match my vision. So it's better to have AIs do things you've already validated manually with accurate instructions and examples. Okay, from there, the AI puts all the copy in a Google Doc, gives us the link, our team reviews it, and sends it to the client for approval. And you can run the entire process with a tool called N8N. And technically, the type of AI that I've been referring to is called an AI agent because it can autonomously pursue goals and perform tasks on behalf of users. So here's how to set this up high level. Document your most repeated deliverables first. Write down exactly what you do step by step. Don't automate yet, you are just documenting. Then set up your N8N account. I'm gonna drop the link below in the description if you wanna check that out. And pick your simplest, most repeated deliverable. 
okay? Don't go bold here and pick the most complex thing. Now create a new N8N workflow after you create your account. Add the AI agent step into your workflow. That's what it's called. And go to ChatGPT, give it a PDF of your documented process and ask it to create a prompt for you based on that. Then paste that prompt into your AI agent step in the N8N workflow. And that's it. From here, you'll want to extensively test and be patient in the process, but don't give up because once it works, it works 24 seven and you can now repeat the process for other things in your business. Now that you've seen the five AI tools that can actually make you money, what if I told you the real secret isn't the tools, but the system behind them? In this video here, I walk you through the exact principles that built my $10 million AI business and how you can use them to move faster starting today.